Hey guys, Ain't here. This video is about shutter speed. Shutter speed is a vital variable to both your still picture and motion picture compositions. So what is shutter speed and how does it affect your photos and videos? When shooting photos or videos, exposure is controlled by three variables as we've spoken about in my previous videos. These three variables are aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. We've already gone through ISO and aperture. Let's start with the basics of how a camera works. Light passes through a hole in the lens diaphragm known as the aperture. The shutter opens to let the light through to the sensor, then closes. The light then hits the sensor where it is absorbed. Whenever you press the button on a camera and you hear that common click sound, that's the sound of the shutter in the camera opening and closing in a fraction of a second. So how does the shutter speed affect your photos and videos? Well, by changing the length of time that the shutter remains open, you can significantly change the type of image or video you get. When all else is kept constant, a slow shutter speed, where the shutter is open for a longer time, makes objects in motion appear blurry and overall, you get a brighter image. A faster shutter speed, where the shutter is open for a shorter period, makes objects in motion appear frozen in time and overall yields a much darker image. Here's an example. This picture was shot at a shutter speed of 1 8th of a second. You can see how the silver vehicle which was in motion is blurred up into streaks of light. The red car stays in focus because it wasn't moving at that instance. The second picture was shot at a shutter speed of 1 2500th of a second. It is very sharp throughout and the water appears to be frozen in time. Now even though aperture and ISO weren't kept constant here, the effect of a slow shutter speed versus a fast one is very apparent. In terms of video, you always want your shutter speed to be the reciprocal of double your frame rate to get a cinematic look with just the right amount of motion blur. What does that mean, you might be wondering? Well, the reciprocal function is as follows. A function of x is equal to 1 over x. In our case, it will be equal to 1 over 2x. So let the left hand side be equal to our frame rate and right hand side our shutter speed. If your frame rate is 24p or 24 frames per second, your shutter speed should be 1 48th of a second. But since that's not commonly available on consumer cameras, you can round that off to 1 50th of a second. I hope that this video was useful to you. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and punch that subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and catch you folks in the next one.